Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Mega Man and I must submit, Collect Man's theme is awesome, I love it. Second favorite theme in the game, no doubt. And Elect Man's a pretty cool robot master as well. Yeah, I don't know why I'd say my second favorite is behind uh, Cut Man, probably Iceman, because I really liked his appearance in the comics. Uh, the Archie comics were fantastic. I, w I wish we could have got more of those, but unfortunately we did not, which sucks. Gosh darn it, Archie, why must you ruin everything? Because uh, I did like the Sonic comics when they were going on, but then they left Archie, and now I haven't read one since then. So, maybe the new ones are good? I don't know. But the reason I chose Luck Man stage is because a Luck Man is weak to the rolling cutter. So, I didn't explain that last part because I cut the commentary a little short. My bad. But yeah, he's re. Gosh darn it, I'm mispronouncing everything. He's weak to the rolling cutter, so. That's a good reason to pick him, and I'll also be explaining why I chose the or I did this part. Because there is a special power that we need in Elect Man's stage that you only can get with Elect Man's power, which obviously we don't have since we're, we haven't beat Elect Man yet, or with Gut Man's, Guts Man's uh, power arm. So that's the reason why I chose the order I did. So that way I could get the power up I need to without having to replay any stages or whatnot. So, yeah. Anyways, come up here and we get more of these appearing, disappearing blocks that everyone hates, myself included. They're pretty annoying, I must admit. And climbing up the ladder. Sorry, I was just listening to the music. I like man's theme is awesome. You guys should really look it up sometime. Alrighty. And I'm not sure which ladder is the easier path. I'm pretty sure the one on the right is, but we will find out. I can't remember off the top of my head. Yeah, it's definitely the right one. Those enemies are annoying. You can't kill them with the Mega Buster. You have to use your special powers in order to kill them. The, the, power, the Mega Buster just stuns them, which I find weird and kind of annoying. And that's what those things do. They shoot electric, electricity at you. And if you fail to avoid them, you can get really messed up like I did there. So that sucked. But yeah, right there is the uh, beam we need. I already forget what it's called. So let's grab Gutsman's power, throw these blocks away, and there it is. Perfect. And we need that, or Magnet Beam, that's what it's called. We need that to beat the game. Yeah. If you don't get that in the Luck Man stage and you go to Wily's Castle, you can't beat the game. Just saying. That's some... Uh, not not so good design. I'm just I'm just gonna say that Capcom not the best idea right there, but uh, Whatever You know, it's it's an old game, so I'm willing to let it slide And I know where it's at now, but my first time playing I couldn't figure out how why I couldn't get why I couldn't progress any further. I was like, what the heck? I looked it up and I found out there's a beam I was supposed to get. I was like, wait, what? There's a power I missed? Uh, that sucked Anyways, I had to pause there for a while, so yeah. Anyways, here's the magnet beam in, in uh, action for you. So you, it just creates a platform and you can jump up it and uh, all that good stuff. It's pretty awesome. Love the magnet beam. It's a shame it never came back, but in the later games we did get uh, Rush the dog, who's pretty awesome. I love Rush. Rush is definitely the best Mega Man character, no doubt. Alright, so climb up here. And another one of these things. Can I finally avoid this one? Darn it. No, I couldn't. And I got next to no health, so I got no chance against uh, a like man. I might as well just kill myself, but uh, no, we're going to try to get through anyways. I'm tough like that, don't you know? At least I try to act like I'm tough like that sometimes. Just for the heck of it. So, let's see if I can get the timing right. There we go. I don't know why, but sometimes I really have trouble timing these right. I don't know why. It's so simple. Yet I always tend to screw it up. I don't know why, but hopefully I don't screw it up here. Oh, I screwed it up there. That That's embarrassing. <laughs> yeah, well, whatever. So, got the rolling cutter equipped because we're about to take on Elect Man and he is weak to it, like I said. They gotta be careful against Elect Man because his Elect Beam will kill you in three hits. The rolling cutter will kill him in three hits. So, it's just a matter of who gets three hits first. So, I think I'm gonna get it. Yep, there we go. No problem. Like man's not so bad as long as you have the rolling cutter. But if you're using the Mega Buster only, tempting him Buster only, um, good luck. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> good luck. 
because I'm pretty sure it's difficult. I've never tried it myself, but I'm not tempted to. So next up is Iceman. You think that Iceman would not be weak to you like Beam. You think maybe weak to fire or something like that, but uh, no, not the case. I didn't say though. The weaknesses made sense, all right, but uh, yeah, that's the way the weakness orders go. So, yep, let's uh, move on. Those enemies are kind of annoying, too, because if you shoot the bottom of them, then the top half comes off and they uh, fly around. It's it's really annoying. Here's the light beam in action, though. Pretty fantastic for taking out these penguin enemies and also taking out those annoying little slider things on the floor. I don't know what they're called. I don't know what most of the enemies are called in this game. I don't have the original manual or anything like that, so I just don't know. But, uh, yeah, take all those out. A lot of slowdown for some reason. I don't know what that's all about. But we're gonna switch to the Mega Buster now, since it's just the penguins now. Those aren't no problem. I do, I do believe I don't need that health since I'm already full health as is. But uh, there is uh, another one of those down here, so I want to kill him. Gosh darn it. Kill him. There we go. And now we got more of the invisible blocks, or disappearing blocks. Yay, I love these. I hate them so freaking much. Seriously. They suck. Ugh, come on. There we go. Oh, darn it. Timed it too early. Gosh darn it. No! There we go, there we go, now we're making progress. That's more like it, all right. And over here, there's more of them, but screw that, I have the magnet beam. Seriously, I, I hate those disappearing blocks, they are such a pain. Screw them, and screw this area too. You're expected to be, expecting me to use those platforms that can take you any way they want? Screw that, Not not worth it. Because for all I know, they could just lead me right into the penguin and get me knocked off or something. I'd much rather just use the magnet beam there. So, that's what I did. And there's an extra life down there. Can I get that? I would like that. There we go. Yeah, you, you really gotta push yourself hard to the left in order to make that, but, uh... You know, once, once you get the hang of it, it's not so bad, so... Go ahead and select the leg man real quick so we can get some extra energy. I don't think I explained that last part, but, uh... The special powers do use energy on the left side, as you see, beside my left health bar. So, if you use all your uh, powers, ability, or powers, power? That sounds weird. If you use all their energy in your uh, special weapons, then you can't use it for the rest of the level until you find another uh, energy container, like that penguin drop there, for example. So, yeah, it's recommended to use them sparingly, so that way you don't run out for the bosses and whatnot, but... Here's Iceman. Like a like man, he can kill you in three hits, but uh, he's pretty simple. Just shoot three like memes, and there you go. He's dead. See, so, yeah, if I got hit by three more of those ice chunks, I would have died, I think. But no, still pretty easy. And for some reason, Me Mega Man disappeared. Where you at, Mega Man? Yeah, whatever. So that was Iceman Sage. Definitely my least favorite in the game because of those freaking disappearing blocks and whatnot, but. Whatever, we're moving on to Fireman. And I just wanted to listen to the music for a minute, I apologize. I just, I love the music, what can I say? Mega Man has an excellent theme song, seriously, or excellent soundtrack, that's what I meant. So Fireman stage, I believe has a lot of pitfalls and whatnot, with lava and whatnot, so you want to be careful of that. It's a little weird because he's not called Lava Man, he's called Fireman, but whatever, I guess that still works. Sorta. Of. Sort of, it should be floors of fire, not lava, but again, I'm not going to get into that whole debate. So, anyways, and enemies respawn, by the way. If you uh, walk off screen and come back, they're back alive, so don't go back unless you have to. These fireballs are really weird. They look like the ones from Mario or something like that. I do wonder, are they robots or are they legitimate fireballs? Because they, they look like legitimate fireballs with faces and whatnot. It's weird. I'm just going to use my ice beam here on this here. There we go. And that's the great thing about the ice beam from Iceman is that you can freeze the uh, the fire and whatnot so you can climb on top of it. Uh, last I checked though, doesn't ice 
melt when it's around fire. Just saying. So, I, I don't know what that's all about, but whatever. Go ahead and refill my ice beam, because again, Fireman is weak to ice for some reason. I guess when the ice contacts with them, it turns into water, and, and it hurts them that way? That doesn't make any sense, though, because I'm freezing the fire. This game makes no sense. <laughs> yeah, let's uh, pick up this health. Just because. I like it when my health is full, what can I say? It, it, it's good when your life bar is full, don't you know? Alright, so. Come on down here, and I believe, yep, you want to go to the right a little bit so you don't fall directly into the lava. And, uh, I'm taking a lot of unnecessary hits, aren't I? Again, I'm not the best at Mega Man, but, uh, I can at least get through it, you know? It's one of those games that I definitely need more practice in to get better, but, uh, maybe someday. Maybe someday I'll be an expert expert player at Mega Man. Probably not, but you never know. Not like it matters to me, I just, I like to play, what can I say? I like to play the games I like to play, even if I'm bad at them. Now here, you want to be careful, because if you're not, those uh, fire waves will hit you. So what I recommend, just use the magnum beam there, and there you go. Nice and simple. And more of those torpedoes from Bomb Man Stage are here. Why did they come in all of a sudden? I don't know. Don't know, and truthfully, I could, I could really care less. Gosh darn, hit him. There we go. So his Light Beam is probably the best weapon in the game, in all honesty. I love the Light Beam. There we go. And back to my powers. Or Mega Buster. Alright. Moving on. With those fireballs. Watch out for that fire. There we go. I'm low on health, so I'm probably going to die against Fireman, but uh, we'll see how I do. Maybe I can beat him first try, but I have my doubts, especially because these robots keep hitting me and I'm doing a terrible, do terrible job dodging them. There's no hope, so I think I just kill my get myself killed right away, intentionally. Yeah, I just, I just sit there and wait for it. So, yeah. Anyways, now I have the Ice Man power on. The uh, ice shard or whatever, I forgot what it's called. So, yeah, Fireman I definitely think is the hardest because he just shoots his fire so frequently. He's, it's hard to jump over in time. I just find it really difficult myself. Fireman is definitely the hardest in my opinion. He's hard to dodge, I think. But other people say this one's harder. Other people say that one's harder. But, uh, yeah, Fireman, he's tough in my opinion. Anyways... On to Dr. Wily's castle. And looks like we get quite a few clear points for being Dr. Wily. Not, not, that, I mat not that it matters to me, because who, who cares about score? It's all about beating the game, but uh, it is cool when you get a high score anyways, right? And I like how his saucer is red. I don't know why it's red and then blue in the future sequels, but uh, whatever the case. And I'm equipping Iceman right away, because guess what? You can freeze those enemies, yes! So finally I can dodge them successfully. Well, a lot easier, I should say, since I did dodge that one earlier, but, uh... Yeah, there's three of those, so... Take one hit from each one, and you're dead. There we go. Alright, and... Now we're gonna need Elect Man's power, or Guts Man. Guts Man is pretty useless, though, in all honesty, so I'm just gonna use him here. So, again, get rid of these blocks. Now we need more Ice Man. Ice Slasher, that's what it's called. I forgot what it was called, Ice Slasher. Alright, so get up here. This is gonna be tough. Or not. I made it. Yay! And up there we have some health, which I don't really need, so I'm just gonna keep moving forward. But I do want the. Do want the powers, regular powers back. Yeah, unlike uh, the regu regular levels. Your energy does not recharge between levels in Dr. Wily's castle. Once you run out of Elect Beam, you're out of Elect Beam unless you find more power ability. So, yeah, in ca- in the- Gosh darn, I'm getting touch with it again. In Dr. Wily's castle, you gotta be careful. Watch your powers and use them sparingly. Yeah, the levels, yeah, you had to do that a little bit, but, uh, the difference is, once you reach the next level, it recharged. Here, not so much. So, 
Gotta be careful of that. And I'm amazed I avoid that missile. That was a close call. Now here, you're expected to use those platforms, but I vote screw that, use the magnet beam. These platforms are not trustworthy. They will lead you right up into the spikes. As far as I know, they are random, so yeah, don't use them. Oh, jerk. All right, so let's climb back up, or climb up here. And this is the spot where you need the magnet beam. If you don't have the magnet beam, you can't finish the game. So, yeah. If you need more energy though, you can pick it up on the bottom floor. So if you run out of energy, you can go down there, pick up some energy, and uh, refill it. So that, they at least thought that through. But uh, now onto the boss. And here we have the hardest boss in the game, without a shadow of a doubt, the Yellow Devil. I hate this guy. I've never beaten him without the cheat I'm about to show you guys. I'm being serious about that. This guy, there's just so many pieces to dodge. I can't memorize this crap. So yeah, if you keep hitting uh, pause though, or select or whatever, you can actually keep registering hits on him and beat him that way. So you can save your uh, energy that way and uh, it's pretty fantastic. But anyways, folks, that's going to do it for this part, so thank you all for watching, and I will see you all next time. Later.